you've also both talked about the importance of mentors uh, for people working. Uh, who are some of the people that uh, you learned from, that, that, that you respected, your mentors, uh, John? Okay, well, pretty clearly I learned an awful lot from my thesis advisor in Berkeley. Then uh, uh, Pat Thaddeus was my mentor as a postdoc in New York at the Goddard Institute for Space Studies. Uh, then I came to Goddard and Mike Hauser was my mentor. All of these people, not that much older than I am, but enough that they knew something I didn't know. Um, and they also all said, uh, well, here it is, you do this. Uh, so it wasn't so much that they told me how to do it, but they said, here's this job, this is really important, and it's yours. And so uh, then I would come back to them and say, I don't know what to do now, uh, let's talk. Uh, but uh, it's not like uh, instruction in how, it's more, this is important, let's talk together and make it happen. I would say that when I was a wor working engineer, there were many en project managers, as I mentioned, some would empower people, some would try to do it themselves, some would be listeners, some would remove obstacles. But I watched each one of them and learned from each one of them. The second thing is that there were certain people above me at NASA who would call me periodically and, and say, how are you doing in the middle of this, this project? And I would proceed to tell them, you want to know how I'm doing? <laughs> and they would let me talk for 10 or 15 minutes. And that's all they did. And then they would go back to work, and I would go back to work. But there was always someone that I wouldn't go up there and wring my hands and tell them I don't know what to do. But at least there were people that above me that would listen. And that made a big difference versus me versus the whole system. So if uh, both of you were advising people who are starting their career, whether it's engineering or pro management or science, what, uh, what tips would you give in terms of how to go about it? Or what's the... You know, I'll if, give we, you, if we can get it down to uh, I'll your, give you the biggest lessons. tip of all is to yeah. be a listener. You are not going to learn when you're talking. And I think as an engineer, sit in meetings, go to meetings, sit on projects, but, but watch and listen, and you'll learn it all. John? I'd say that's awfully good advice. Uh, another part, if you're the scientist and you're wondering where to go so something will turn out well, uh, go where the action is. You know. Uh, you can sort of tell what's happening in the world and uh, what the excitement's about. So um, if you uh, choose to go there, maybe you have a chance to, to get noticed and to contribute and eventually to be able to lead something. Uh, so I, I wasn't actually that good at this, but it turned out I was lucky uh, because, uh, yeah, I worked on the cosmic background radiation as a graduate student. It turned out to be really, really, really important. Mm -hmm. uh, then I chickened out for a while and I got drawn back into it. So. Uh, uh, anyway, I went where the action was, and I, then uh, when I got a call, would I like to work on the new James Webb Space Telescope, which wasn't called that yet. Yeah, sure, that's where the action is. So I'm having a good time by going there. Uh, and when you go there, there's uh, a lot happening, and good people to work with, and people to learn from, and, uh, and to, anyway, so that's part of it. Uh, I already mentioned, I think, uh, reading and writing are really important, too, and uh, yes. a lot of our uh, people don't appreciate how critically important that is. When I finished my thesis project, it was hard work to write. I thought, I'm so glad I don't have to write anything anymore. <laughs> and I spent the rest of my life writing. Yes. So I didn't expect it, but it's really important. Very good.